Hey guys, welcome back. This week I want to make some bullnose molding for a project that I've got coming up. It's only going to require the table saw and a router. I need to get some square stock that's 5 eighths by 5 eighths. So of course we're starting at the table saw. Alright, I've got this stock down to 5 eighths by 5 eighths. Now I can put a 5 16 inch round over, and that is why I needed 5 eighths. 2 times 5 16 is 5 eighths. If I had a quarter inch round over, I would have just done half inch stock. I don't really have a proper fence for the router table, so the tricky thing here is going to be holding the material down to the table while I push it through. It may take a couple passes. We'll see how it goes. All right, that is looking pretty good. In fact, if it was a bigger round over, you could definitely do something like that for quarter round. Uh, but I'm going for a bull nose, so I need to pass it through again. Let's see, it went through like that. So now I'm just turning it end for end. And we'll do it again. Now this, uh, this bit does have a bearing but since I'm going for a bullnose look, it is important that I have this fence set with the front of the bearing so the bearing's not actually getting used. The problem is that if I let the bearing ride across this part, then it'll actually go too far into the bit. That's going to do it for this project. I needed four pieces at about 18 inches long, but since I made eight feet, I just cut these down to 24 inches each. I may end up re-ripping them to be a little bit thinner. Um, that way it sticks out from the project a little bit less, but we can see how that turns out next week when I build a bedside table with a drawer. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Molding does not have to be a hard thing. With a few different router bits, you can make a lot of different shapes. Have a great week, and as always, get out there and make some sawdust.